welcome to a special video production of the EdTech Team blog um, at edtechteam.com. And today I am very lucky to have two special EdTech Team um, members with me. They are the Director of Innovation, James Sanders, and the CEO, Dr. Mark Wagner, who are going to talk to us about the Future Ready Initiative and give us a background and some updates on it. So, James, can you start? Yeah, I'm really excited to talk about this. So the Future Ready Schools initiative was developed by the U.S. government in partnership with the Alliance for Excellent Education is a pledge ask, that they ask superintendents around the country to sign committing to a new set of ideals. And the EdTech team is one of the many partners supporting this initiative. Um, there was more than 1,500, I believe, superintendents around the country that have signed it, representing more than 10 million students. And in, in addition to the work here in the United States, the EdTech team is excited about, you know, expanding that globally and trying to bring in other schools that, you know, approach this topic and do an amazing job of preparing their students uh, for the future. So. Okay, and so, um, Mark, <clears throat> do you have um, any information on what EdTech team is doing to support that? Yeah, I think uh, a little background on our perspective might be helpful is, you know, for the last three years or so, we've, we've hosted a number of uh, uh, summits featuring Google for Education in, in some really amazing schools around the world. Uh, and the opportunity to see these schools and learn from them and, and, and share what we're learning uh, with others has been uh, really impactful for us. Uh, and one of the things we realized um, really early on, uh, being involved with Future Ready Schools, when we asked ourselves, what does that mean to us, is that the schools we've been in, that we've seen uh, you know, such a wide variety of amazing schools that we consider future ready over the last several years, um, are not easily pigeonholed. It's not easy to say, you know, this is what makes a, a future ready school. Uh, and so over time, we developed a very broad uh, framework. It's the honeycomb that James has put on his screen here. Um, that we think captures what we're seeing in, in these schools that we, uh, we feel are, are exemplary future-ready schools, right? So uh, without fail, they've all got courageous leadership of some kind. Uh, you know, there are some leaders at the highest levels making it possible and empowering people. Uh, and that would be the next element is empowered teachers. Uh, these are not just, uh, you know, the teachers aren't just the cogs in the wheel of the machine, as they say, uh, at these schools. Uh, and it's a focus on student agency that I think really defines what they're doing. So these kids are making, doing, creating, sharing, publishing, uh, you know, collaborating across borders, uh, and that's really what we're we're shooting for here uh, with everything we do at the Tech Team. Um, and another piece that's sort of been uh, new learning for us, or at least for me, is uh, realizing that a lot of these schools don't look like traditional schools, uh, and they have uh, a wide variety of of different spaces, but they're all very inspiring spaces, inspiring learning spaces uh, for, uh, for students and teachers and humans uh, to, to work and learn. So uh, for us, those are the important parts of this framework, uh, and they're sort of supported by uh, the infrastructure and hardware and software that schools have uh, and can have today. So for us, it's that focus on courageous leadership, empowered teachers, student agency, and inspiring spaces. And so we've built our own Future Ready uh, summits, uh, which James has up there, uh, around those ideals. So we've, we've launched a few. Uh, our first one will be in Illinois, March 7th and 8th. Uh, and we've, we've just put together some of the um, initial workshops for that event, and it looks uh, just fantastic. We're you know, right on target with those, those four elements, and, uh, and I'm really excited about what we're aiming for here. So um, who's the audience for these um, summits, do you think? Fire away, James, if you Yeah, so I mean, for, for these Future Ready Schools events, we're definitely doing this for schools and teachers and school level leaders. We're really excited about you know connecting those teachers and those school leaders in those schools with others that are trying to do this work. So as you notice, we're doing a Future Ready Summit, not only Future Ready School Summit, not only in Chicago and in Iowa, but also in Brazil, because we believe that by creating a global community of educators that are committed to these ideals, we'll be able to, you know, exchange resources, get best practices, identify areas where things haven't gone so well, and trying to, you know, lend that support structure. A lot of times, uh, teachers that come to our summits feel like they're on islands before they get there. 
so they can come to these and connect with other educators or like-minded people that are trying to do this work as well. They may not be in the same building, they may not be down the hall, they may be halfway around the world, but they're going to connect with that person and get those resources and support that they need and hopefully leave inspired. You know, we believe that a lot of this change comes from, from people. You know, it's not just about technology, it's not just about hardware or software. It comes down to, you know, again, empowered educators, you know, and working in schools where the leaders are giving them the flexibility to take risks, explore new school models, classroom models, arrangements, looking at the curriculum itself, moving away from worksheets and more towards applications, students learning by doing. So, you know, a lot of these things that get talked about a lot, but, you know, when it comes to the rubber meeting the road, the schools are hesitant because of things like testing and standards and fear of failure. And so hopefully this Future Ready initiative gives them some of the license to be able to take some of those risks and make some of those critical changes, knowing that you know the world of tomorrow isn't a multiple choice question on a standardized test. It's one that's going to require critical thinking where students are taking risks and, and failing. So if at all we can bring that into some of our schools, um, you know, we'll be making a difference. And that's what we're really trying to accomplish here um, by supporting the Future Ready Initiative with these school summits. And, and I would say, if I could, Holly, sorry, is, uh, you know, when we ask ourselves what's the most important thing we can do to, to help these schools, it keeps coming down to connecting them with each other. Uh, and that's a big part of what these events are around, is is uh, raising awareness around w not just what's available, but what's actually out there. Uh, you know, we, we went into the schools like Albany Senior High School in New Zealand that uh, to walk into, you know, this what if that we've been preaching for 10 years and, and who knew it was happening uh, for real there. Uh, and so I think making that concrete um, and, and while there, there's still going to be some courage involved in, in the leadership of, uh, of, of future ready schools, uh, making it concrete and, and, and uh, helping people feel that it's possible and, and, and real, I think, is a, is a big part of what we're trying to do. To look through, just for example, some of the sessions that will be happening, like creating a recipe, a ripple effect for empowered teaching in a school, creating creators, not consumers, cultivating a culture of excellence, and curiosity-based learning. Some of these ideas that, you know, teachers go into the field because of this. They want to change lives, make a difference, and create the next generation of citizens. And, you know, of late recently, they've gotten bogged down with a lot of this stuff that, doesn't align with their personal ideals and what they're trying to accomplish. So hopefully through these summits we can empower our attendees with the courage to take some of those risks and go back to their schools um, and, and try some new stuff. So uh, we're really excited about these events and hopefully um, some of you guys will be able to, to join us there. So just quickly, as an ex-administrator, the first thing I'm thinking is who would I send to this? Do you think this is something that would be good for a team, individuals, like, um, or both? I yeah, I think a team would be ideal. It's great to uh, to, to see a leader come with their uh, with the teachers. Um, obviously, a, a, a you know a huge portion of this event will be focused right at teachers with the empowered teachers events and and the uh, student agency uh, workshops are going to be largely focused at teachers how to give their students more agency. Um, and and certainly teachers are in a place where they can uh, you know change the space that that's in their classroom at least. Um, but but we think having other people there from the from the technology department, from you know who's charged with professional development in the school or the district, who's charged with uh, facilities in the school or the district, like these are people who should be at the event as well because that's all part of the equation. Fantastic. Um, okay, and the last question: How do people find out about it? Um, what's your website and? Yeah, so Future Ready Summits or futurereadysummit.com is where you can find out all this information. And like we said at the beginning, we're just one of 30 awesome partners that are supporting it. So we believe that, you know, rather than having these one-off organizations doing their own thing, being part of something bigger and coming together is really important. So all of our events are at futurereadysummits.com. But at futurityschools.org, you'll find all the other partners like the National PTA and EdSurge and Edutopia, all part of this global movement of awesome people trying to, to make a difference. So if we can do just a small piece of that at EdTech team, um, we're very excited. Okay. Well, thank you both for joining me. And um, I can't wait to be part of the Future Ready Summit. So thank you. Thanks, Holly.